Good afternoon. I would like to begin by thanking Dr. Jonathan Fenton, the president of the MacArthur Foundi Foundation, for initiating the MacArthur Asia Security Initiative. At a time of budget cuts and a decline in foundation funding, this initiative is particularly praiseworthy. On behalf of the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies, I would also like to thank the foundation for giving us the honor of hosting this launch event. We would also like to thank the ASEAN Secretary General, Dr. Surin Pitsuan, who will address us shortly. RSIS and the other research institutes participating in the Asia Security Initiative recognize that it is a great honor and privilege to be chosen by the foundation to spearhead research on security issues in Asia that we are passionate about and which we believe will affect Asia and its peoples, as well as impact the global environment. The MacArthur Foundation's launch of the Asia Security Initiative is a significant endorsement of the importance of Asia sec security issues and a recognition of the important implications for the world at large of these developments. While taking stock of emerging security challenges is important, equally critical, we'll be exploring concrete ways and means of protecting peoples and societies which have become more vulnerable to a host of insecur insecurities brought about by transnational challenges. To address this, the seven institutions that form Cluster 3 will embark on research which is focused on the theme of in internal challenges. Our research will explore solutions for the protection of peoples and societies that have become vulnerable as a result of insecurities due to transnational crises and conflicts. I would now like to give a brief overview of the research projects in cluster three. The seven institutions that represent this cluster are global in composition and have diverse areas of focus. As the core institution of cluster three, the RSIS Center for Non-Traditional Security Studies, led by my colleague, Associate Professor Meli Caballero Anthony, will focus on three areas of research. First, internal and cross-border conflict. Second, climate change, environmental security, and natural disasters. And third, energy and human security. In the area of internal and cross-border conflict, the RSIS Center for NTS Studies will conduct research on the dynamics of internal conflicts and human security. In addition to multi-level and multilateral approaches to conflict prevention and resolution in East Asia. Research relating to climate change, environmental security, and natural disasters will focus on possible solutions to limit the vulnerability of states to natural disasters. Simultaneously, preventive measures that address the rise in global temperatures due to human activity will also be explored. The study of, of energy and human security will cover a multitude of issues ranging from energy security and, in, and environmental sustainability regional energy competition to community engagement in energy security. Our colleagues at the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, who are experts in conflict mediation, will channel their research energies to comparing responses to violent internal conflict in the Asia Pacific region, with a particular emphasis on the relative efficacy of mediation and dialogue processes. Close attention 
will be paid to case studies in India, the Philippines, and Indonesia. A number of, grant of grantees in Cluster 3 have a particularly strong interest in energy issues. The National Bureau of Asian Research in Washington is keen to examine maritime energy resources and will devote its resource expertise to the analysis of outstanding maritime sovereignty disputes in Asia with the aim of recommending policy tools to diffuse the prospect of conflict over disputed waters. Our colleagues in Singapore at the Center on Asia and Globalization in the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy are similarly focused on energy research. Their research will seek to investigate ways of improving energy governance, and secondly, to develop a rigorous yet user-friendly energy security index to compare the performance of Asian countries in achieving energy security. The Nautilus Institute for Security and Sustainability, based in San Francisco, will undertake research on energy security in North Korea by studying the issue of nuclear proliferation and the potential use of nuclear weapons. It will also conduct research on North Korea's energy needs and will propose possible negotiating positions and options for the six-party talks. India's Strategic Foresight Group will conduct research on the impact of water stress and climate change in Bangladesh, China, India, and Nepal. It will also explore collaborative solutions to prevent future crises in the light of growing water scarcity in India and China in order to mitigate possible threats which may arise from climate change. Last but not least is the Japan Center for International Exchange, which will focus on promoting research aimed at effective regional cooperation in tackling human security issues through the engagement of civil society organizations. JCIE will also identify case studies and best practices of non-governmental initiatives that could successfully promote human security. In conclusion, I would like to say that the next three years promise to be engaging and interesting with a comprehensive range of research and research challenges before us. I'm certain that we will benefit from the opportunity that has been provided. I am particularly keen uh, in, this, in, uh, in supporting this initiative because it will lead to the development of a network of scholars and practitioners in the Asia-Pacific region. We therefore have to thank the MacArthur Foundation for its Asian Security Initiative. Thank you.